Good afternoon folks, welcome back to the channel. I don't like doing videos like this, um, but it really counts for it. There is a Trojan horse currently in the community and it's about time everybody wakes up, smells the coffee and understands what is happening. If you can't see what is going on right now, then you're not reading things clearly. You're simply just looking at the title of something, then breezing past. Do you read into these things? There are two proposals up, both are community pool spent, okay? Both of them are. Now, regardless of whatever this has got inside of it, I personally don't care because <clears throat> I don't know any of these people, but the one person I do know on here has proven to have been a bad actor because and I'm going to lay this down. I've never laid this down ever before. And I'm going to lay it down as clear as I can right now. Okay. All of these people back when Jacob did what he did. Okay. That got on board, which I'm, you know, oh, you, you know, you guys are compromised. You're compromised because you got your node from all nodes. So you're compromised. All of the different people currently in our validator base, like Terra C Vita, the Terra Rebels nodes. Vegas' node that was running and all of the other people that are running, LunkDAO's node, all of these other nodes have been purchased, okay, from other people. So if you want to know where the real compromise is, it's with all of these people and seeing the community right now shutting down the actual L1 team and backing up this mock of a joke that is clearly a Trojan horse that is being pushed by the old guard that want to see no change. There is a huge amount of liquidity locked into the Oracle Rewards pool. The old guard do not want to see that happen. This is a Trojan horse, okay, painted as a nice fluffy sheep. We all know the damage that Jacob caused to the blockchain, caused to all of the different people across the board. The amount of people that shut their nodes down because of the severe amount of drama. When... The only people that he targeted were the people with all nodes for his whatever reason infatuation he had with all nodes. Did he target Lunkdown? Nope. Did he target Terra C Vita? Nope. Did he target Terra Rebels? Did he target all of these other nodes that have been purchased from other people? For for example, Lunkdown's node was purchased from CryptoPunks. So there's a compromise there because the keys have been bought from somebody else. Someone else has had access to that. There's all these different things, right, that... I myself don't like to get involved with the drama. I don't like painting a target on my back. This is painting a huge target on my back for whoever's involved in this proposal and whoever's backing it. And I'm speaking from my heart here, not my wallet. If you want to see LUNC grow, support the correct people, read things, understand that there are Trojan horses, there are bad actors that simply are using this blockchain to fund their excursions elsewhere. There, It's been a year. It's been a whole year. One year tomorrow is this channel's anniversary. It's one whole year. Okay, what have you seen from any of these people? Nothing. Yet we continue to support the wrong people in the blockchain. We're going to get to a point, right, where these people get control, which is simply what is going to happen now because you're seeing what looks like lobbying of votes because of how quickly they're, they've come in on one proposal and then come back in on the other proposal. These sorts of people are very intelligent. They know what they're doing. They specifically have been doing this. And it, like I'm saying, it's been a whole year. I'm sick of it. I want to see LUNC change. I want to see new validators join. I want to see that voting power shift from all of these people that are simply wanting to keep the liquidity in the blockchain for themselves for their own gain for as long as they can and create divisions create factions do all of these different things doing all of these different things and when someone doesn't get their own way they blow out of proportion they go absolutely teetotal and cause as much destruction as they can this has been intentionally done as have all of the other proposals that have gone up to put as much confusion into the market as possible, especially with all the different validators like all nodes. It's going to see this and just think, what is going on? You know, what is going on? And it's it's becoming scary for me now to see that the people who have got us to where we are now are being thrown aside for people that have been proven to want to just absolutely destroy everything around us. 
regardless of what information he found and even if it was true and there was was this huge compromise which we clearly know that there isn't otherwise you know someone would have compromised my node within the one and a half months that i wasn't even active there was no votes went out he took a molehill turned it into a mountain and I, for one, don't want to see someone like this even getting a drip of funding, let alone the people in this, like Solid Snake, not Josh C, Mango Chutney, Chopstick Sensei. Folks, if this doesn't look peculiar to you, then I don't know what's going on. It's, there's these different roads I'm going in my head and thinking, you know, are all of these old guard validators, they've had a lot of time to accumulate LUNC before we all got on board, right? So they might have all have simply just treasuries that are staked with themselves and they can never drop below a certain VP. So it could be a situation where we're just simply screwed. I've seen different horrible messages and I just, I'm so worried for the blockchain right now. I'm worried for us. The community have been cut down, turned into little parts and little factions of all these little different things. They're driving off the actual people who want to help all of these different images being portrayed and it's all simply just to keep us in this in the same spot keep us arguing with each other keep us doing nothing whilst they use the money for excursions elsewhere please folks we need to wake up before it's too late and this blockchain just becomes controlled by a set group of people that have been proven to be tyrants throughout the community like i said this is painting a huge x on my back a huge x on my back just simply doing a an honest video like this and, and laying it down for what it is. People pick and choose who they're going to throw their evidence against and they ignore other people because they know going against someone like that, it's just not going to work out for them. It's obvious to me. It should be obvious to you after this video. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what you're thinking. And you know, if you're backing this up, let us know why you're backing this up. Let us know why you want to see these people on here. I don't know any of these people. All of the people that are more or less on that L1 team currently, we know they're doxxed. They're so doxxed. They have huge personal issues from different people that are involved in this wanting to simply edit photos of people's faces. And it's just ridiculous. This is an LUNC community about crypto, not about people's faces, not about people, what people look like or where you're from or if you've got a learning disability or something like that. it doesn't matter that's the beauty of crypto and decentralization it doesn't matter where you're from it doesn't matter what you're like it doesn't matter if you're male female if you don't if you're a he they me we it doesn't matter okay crypto is for everybody for everybody okay it's not something that they're teaching college courses on okay Every, everything that people are more or less utilizing in crypto is coding stuff development stuff that's been built up off of a different kind of sector and they're applying it to this sector other than that the whole thing's experimental so no one's an expert on any of this i'm leaving it on that stay safe stay humble stay aware be rare of scammers be rare of doppelgangers be rare of anybody pretending to be me and i will catch you in the next one Shoo!